Hello, I'm AJ Hammer in New York, and we've got big news breaking tonight. Michael Jackson, photo fury. There is brand new outrage tonight after a photo of a nude deceased Michael Jackson went public. The prosecution presented the photo to build its case against Conrad Murray, who of course is accused of causing Michael's death. So how are Michael's fans reacting to seeing this photo? And is the prosecution's shock tactic going to work? Keep in mind, the prosecution may wrap its case as early as this Friday. And in the meantime, there's new evidence today that the defense may be running scared. Should they be worried? With me right now from Los Angeles, just outside the courthouse where Murray is standing trial, HLN's Jane Velez Mitchell, host of Issues with Jane Velez Mitchell. It airs weeknights at 7 p.m. Eastern here on HLN. And with her right there in Los Angeles, Michael Barnes, who's an attorney and police advisor. Now, we're not going to show that autopsy photo because it is incredibly graphic, but it is Michael Jackson, the photo taken a day after his death. He's naked on an autopsy table. It is so disturbing, a Jackson fan actually ran ran out of the courtroom when it was shown. Now, Jane, you're right there in L.A. at the courthouse every single day covering the trial for HLN. How have the fans been reacting there to the release of that Jackson autopsy photo? It is so upsetting to so many people. They are devastated. We actually had fans calling issues, sobbing and weeping over it. But by the same token, they want justice for Michael Jackson. And we have to remember that there was a purpose in releasing this photo. Uh, this has been a source of contention. Remember, a paramedic said that Michael Jackson looked so thin he thought he was a hospice patient. But the coroner's expert said, Michael Jackson was healthier than the average 50-year-old. So which is it? The jury can decide looking at this photo for themselves. Yeah, Michael, I want to get your take on the tactic of using that photo in just a second. But I was watching the Today Show this morning. They brought up what I thought was a really interesting point. We all remember back in 1993 when Jackson was accused of child molestation. As a part of the investigation, he was photographed nude. And afterwards, I will never forget it, Jackson was almost breaking down in tears talking about the experience. Let's watch. They served a search warrant on me, which allowed them to view and photograph my body, including my penis, my buttocks, my lower torso, thighs, and any other error that they wanted. It was the most humiliating ordeal of my life, one that no person should ever have to suffer. I, I couldn't help but think about Michael Jackson and, and how he would feel about this autopsy photo. Michael. I don't like the photo myself, but I do get it. This is an involuntary manslaughter trial. Prosecutors need to show Jackson's condition at the time of his death. And I applaud them for giving Jackson's family a heads up, by the way, so they could get out of the courtroom before the photo was shown. But do you think prosecutors handled this as well as they could have? I think the prosecutors could have done a better job. Now, I, I think that uh, it's apparent that they thought that it is essential to their case to show the photo. They would have given it careful consideration knowing that it was going to have a major impact on a lot of people. I think what they should have done better is actually ask to show it to the jury but not have it released publicly to avoid the types of reactions that we're seeing now from the family members as well as the friends and the fans. And that also would have been consistent with what I think also needs to be done a little bit differently, especially in California, which is that there appears to be a difference in the stand standard of treatment for people who are celebrities. We want them to be treated under the law exactly the same and to have the same standards apply and that includes getting their prescription medications not under false names but all under their, their real names. But there could be some special care and consideration given when it comes to publicity not releasing photos of this, na of this nature. And, and now it's going to be really interesting to see exactly where this case is going to go because you have the defense expected to begin its case in just a couple of days as the pro prosecution is wrapping up their involuntary manslaughter case against Dr. Murray a and Jane they're now talking about changing their, their 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 whole tactic here are they running scared well there has been reports that they no longer are going to claim that Michael Jackson drank the propofol in an orange juice or some kind of juice container that was found at the scene that was never tested I think one of the reasons they're doing that is that uh, apparently there are studies now that show you can't kill yourself by drinking propofol. So they're talking about uh, the injection of propofol. But let me tell you something. Uh, until it's done, it's not done. And this is complex medical testimony. We don't know which way the chips are ultimately going to fall. And we got